Yeah, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah, tell you uh, actually, it's surprising to see Ted eating because he's got a weight set. He calls me up once a week to ask me what Phil Ivey weighs. Because, well, Ted, why don't you tell him what the bet is? Uh, Phil and I have uh, about an eight hundred thousand dollar bet that he's going to weigh less than I weigh in the next six months, and I I kind of suspected a sneak attack from him this weekend. Uh, so I was pretty much starving myself all week. <laughs> And I called him up the day before the game, and he said he weighed 200 pounds and his weight was skyrocketing. And I said, well, we don't lie to each other, right? And he says, no, we lie to each other, but I'm not lying this time. And I said, well, can't we just go back to the days when we never lied to each other? And he said, no, I need to be able to lie to you. But this time I promise you I'm not lying. So. I took him his word and decided to eat. Still a lot better too. They're still now. Look how skinny you look. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing thing is, what you didn't say is he call, Ted called me up and said, "I want to take a sip of water." He said, "I'm." De he said, "I dehydrated myself in case Phil gets here. Do you think I can take a sip of water?" I said, "You're kidding me." He says, "No, I don't want to take any chances. It's really expensive if I screw up." <laughs> Okay, any, anyway, next to him, some of you guys will know, we do have a preacher in the game, Danny Robison. Danny, yeah. you can preach to the world on both the roads. Is there anything you want to say? Thou shalt not deceive thy brother. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just that uh, Jesus is Lord of everything, even when you're playing poker, he's still your God if you, if you got him there. And uh, once in a while, I do make mistakes in poker games and about my hand. People accuse me of lying. Really, just a mistake. I'm getting older and I misread hands sometimes. <laughs> a lot of people know Danny and Chip were partners who played out of the same bankroll for a number of years until Chip realized that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> How slow is Chip? How long does it take him to realize that? Yeah. Then the next guy around the horn is, I guess for the internet people, they'll know this guy who dropped in with us this weekend to play in the, what do you think the Flint game? I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you think it's cool now, now that uh, you're making a few hands. Yeah. I'm beating your man tough. Yeah, that's where you tortured tough. Uh, Larry's on a break. Larry usually takes one break in the middle of the game. And the length of the break is always proportional to how he's doing. He was up pretty good yesterday. It was a world record break. Two hours of time. Yeah, yeah, we played. Actually, the game became Chinese. Go to the next guy. Now I can take your headphones off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and play your hand. Oh, I got a raise. Okay. You got to play. I got a raise. Well, I already knew I was there. Anyway, Don Zuin, I just found this out yesterday. He's responsible for us having to put up with Phil Helma. <clears throat> that year that Phil won the main event, Don had them all in it. What, how, how many players left? Uh, 134. Probably. You, you mean with the two times? No, before that. No, before that, oh, because he wasn't all in with the two times. No. Uh, probably about six-handed he was all in. Okay, he had him all in six-handed with two pair of nut flush draw and needed to improve. And then uh, four-handed, Don was all in with two tens against eight tens. And, and Phil flopped an ace. If, if you would have won one of those hands, we wouldn't have had to put up.